10 4 11, 26. The first call to Dinwiddie County 911 about a problem with a person at Central State came in at 4:42 that afternoon. So the patient is a new admission, so we're still in the admission unit, and then he's very aggressive. A moment later, the caller tells the dispatcher. So they're doing a CPR right now, and uh, he's just, there's sorry. no pulse anymore. The dispatcher then asks for clarification. Is the patient aggressive or is he not? He's no, not he used to be aggressive, right? So they're trying to put him in restraint. Then eventually he didn't, he's no longer breathing. A minute after receiving that call, paramedics were on their way. It would be 18 minutes before they arrive at Building 39 on the campus of Central State. The unit that was responding came from the closest available unit, which happened to be the center of the county that day. Dinwiddie County is 507 square miles. On Monday, March 6th, there were four ambulances on duty. One at Namazine Fire Station, two at Dinwiddie Fire Station, and one at the McKinney Fire Station. When the 911 call from Central State was received, the closest ambulance was already on a call, as was a second ambulance. One was a cardiac arrest and one was a motor vehicle accident. So they still received the closest available unit. Before the paramedics arrive, CPR is in progress. Stay with 911, where's your emergency? And another call from Central State to 911. Ma'am, they're coming and they're coming as quickly as they can. We have a, a motor vehicle accident also. They're coming. This is this is just totally unacceptable. And y'all know it too. Totally unacceptable. They're coming. With the closest available ambulance coming from the center of the county, their drive time It's at least 15 minutes. Lights and sirens are great but they don't necessarily cut a significant amount of time off. Titmus tells me once on scene, the paramedics did everything they could to revive Ivo Otieno, not leaving the scene for nearly an hour after arriving. I did reach out to the Department of Behavioral Health about medical protocols inside the forensics unit, but have not heard back.